yell. Now say it. Take one. Wait till you're supposed to be pushing the button. Right? America, I want to talk to you. My friends, Dr. Max here. I want to talk about VD. VD is number one crippler. I can't uh, say anything else. Hi, friends. I'm... Think of the habitual vision of greatness. The habitual standing of standard standard what? of greatness. Oh, well, it's a problem that I'm in the habit of giving much thought over. And after many years of habitual thinking, <laughs> I'm still not quite certain 
who stands of greatness I approve of? Uh, well, <clears throat> my habitual vi vision of greatness would be the inspiration of three individuals I can think of off the top of my head. It would be Martin Luther King, Adlai Stevenson, and Eugene McCarthy. God. And you've heard it direct from Howard Cosell's living room. <laughs> what is God? Next week, we hope to get the prophets up here. This is famous uh, Los Angeles. I've always felt that this is the way everybody ought to go. <laughs> Can I have a piece of your cake? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Since you ask, I can't distribute it all out here, but a guy like you that runs for cheerleader and he doesn't want to run, <laughs> he ought to be entitled to a piece of this cake. Habitual <laughs> vision of greatness. Yeah. You better not tape this. Okay, we got 70, 80, no, uh, 30 feet to go on something. <laughs> All right. Okay, Ruth and Diana this time are sitting on the no, couch. No, no, no. Oh, you want to listen and, to me? <laughs> and they're going to, and, and Steve is going to come down. You know how they had that new cross casting where the, the women, <laughs> what the, where the women are, uh, are being seduced and how how he oh, pulls yeah. open his pants and everything. And, but Steve is just going to be a, a regular calm person, just walking along, sitting down, uh, sitting waiting in a waiting room. And both of, he has to sit in between you because you've left him in a trap where you, where he's spread open. And you two start start uh, putting your you know just doing th different things, but keeping it serious with your face and everything. It, it gets too comical. Steve is doing a good job, but you're cracking up. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know how, you know, just keep, keep it really, and then start taking off his tie and trying to zip his pants. And he, like this, and he's a very, he's a very, Steve, you can't, you can't overdo it. You just gotta be a very still person, and you just, yeah, that's exactly what I want. And, and just try to get, yeah, yeah, this time he also stands with And, this time you're very insecure about something. Right here, and then grab it, grab for it. You know? No, Diane, because uh, he's not going to be sitting next to that thing. You two are going to be sitting here. No, but he's got to grab for it over us, or get up and grab for it. He's going to come in. No, he's going to come he's in. Holding your bag rather than that. I'll yeah. get in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Exactly. and you're going to come in. You're going to come in. It's going to be. Put that, put that stuff on top of it. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it should be just the, just the head in the bag. <laughs> okay. All right, now I'm going to catch you two sitting there. Waiting for waiting for somebody, you know, looking at each other, you know, waiting for somebody. That's all I want. And then I'm going to catch Steve walking in, and then coming in and sitting down. You don't even have to catch him walking. Just get him sitting there. Sitting and there, walk and in. then just walk in, and you and you looking at him, and start trying to do his pants, do anything, and start running your hand up his leg. Get back at him. Uh, your hand up his leg, but be, keep it cool. Don't hit. Okay. Not one of you hit. Oh, on two books. We can you find reading something. No biting. <laughs> Or you can go, you know, you can go reason, you know, and really try, and while well, he's looking at you, you see, and just keep looking up at each other, okay? Look up one time, no, keep it in your lap and look up at one at each other, and then as soon as Steve walks in, set the book to your side. Okay, we're going to just take it one, uh, just that yeah, one beginning part. Yeah, but why should both of them set the book to our side? Because you have this planned because out. Because you have this all planned out, and it helps, you know, he's got that, he's got there that he's trying to look at. As soon as you get into a camera roll, uh, count three and look at each other. It's got to be one, two, three. And look at each other at the same time. It's got to be at the same time. Ready? <coughs> Action.
Back then? Huh? Did you need anything with your back then? 